same one of ours. Right, here we go again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For everybody to, you know, care about me and Samira, we want to say thank you. And everybody don't, we want to say thank you. But this ain't about everybody else. This is about me. This is about life. So just let me get right to it. I, I feel abandoned. You know, and, and, and when you feel abandoned, and you don't never get over that or look past that, you abandon. I feel betrayed. And when you've been betrayed and you don't forgive the betrayal, you become the betrayer. I've seen a lot of things about myself. Let me stop it. I've seen a lot of things about myself. The one thing that I didn't see was that I ain't forgiving myself. So if you don't forgive yourself, it makes it almost impossible. It makes it impossible to forgive anybody else. So needless to say, I apologize. And I hate that word. Because everybody that ever said apologize to me I felt like really didn't mean it. But in my mind, who am I? You know, I, I've been told who I am. I've been shown who I am. But to walk with God for real, like you got to really fully submit. And no, I haven't done that. I haven't fully submitted to the most high. I can honestly say that. Because I have to sit here right now and be butt naked. And I don't have no problems being butt naked. I have definitely used people in my life. And whether I did it on purpose or not, you know what I'm saying? Hell, I don't even know what I'm doing. Because if you subconsciously have not healed from whatever you've been through, you don't know what your behavior, uh, your behavior. Yeah, see, that's why I got to sit here. Because my behavior has been where I'll be in someone's life. And then once that someone, and I, maybe I run out of interest, or, or maybe quite possibly I don't want to be abandoned or betrayed. So it's not, it wasn't fair for me to enter into another situation with anyone until I got right with myself. And I didn't get therapy until I was 33. So around somewhere around that age, 32, 33 years old. So needless to say, I did that. I have a string of behaviors that I might even set the situation up, you know what I'm saying? To where if somebody else does something, then I use that as my excuse not to forgive, not to forgive, but just to do me because I don't want to be controlled. I feel like that when I was loyal, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that I, when I was loyal to everybody else, I was betrayed. And I'm including family, friends, all that. That's in my mind though. You know, maybe I was the betrayer because I was prone and privy to things I should have been prone to at a very early age, you know. And I've been told stop pointing the finger, so I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna try to keep my hands down. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep my hands down while I talk because I'm gonna accept accountability. So regardless to whatever has happened to me, you know what I'm saying, and and it does matter. What matters more is how I feel about me. What matters more is if I'm going to submit to the most high because I talk about it and I feel like my actions reflect that, but that hasn't been the case. So as I sit here, naked as I can be, just keep it real, you know what I'm saying, for me. My wife is not happy with me and I have to accept that. Like for real, I do I have to accept that. No matter whatever I did, it don't even matter. Because what matters is right now, this moment right now, my wife is not happy. So she can't talk to me. We're not able to talk and communicate because I don't listen. I've never listened. Because when I listen to the people that betrayed me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, 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 it's deep for me. So to me, it's like, I ain't trying to take nothing out on her. You know, she's been wonderful. She's assisted me in my journey, life's journey for real for, for a very long time. You know, she's been kind enough to listen when other people wouldn't. She's been faithful to, if she didn't do nothing but pull up, you know what I'm saying? I, 
it was for both of us. I can feel that. But if she was nothing but faithful to pull up as a friend, you know. So I appreciate that. And she was real enough to open up her home. So whatever I've done or didn't do to not appreciate that, I apologize. Uh, but behaviors, we're going to get to behavior. All right, so I got a lot of children by a lot of different women. So what makes me run? Because the common denominator in all those situations is me. You know. So my wife has given me every opportunity to understand that and figure that out with a, a wonderful uh, ending. <laughs> and still, you know what I'm saying, that behavior flare up. 12 years old, I'm 8 years old, all throughout my teenage years. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of it. I want to do something different. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to get naked, man, and just lay it out there. You know, no, I'm not perfect. You know, no, I'm not perfect. And my track record proves that. So, you know, but what I ain't never done is be like a quitter. I might run, but I don't quit. You know, that's a difference. So I, I can't quit. I'm 51. If I was going to quit, that would have happened a long time ago. Or if life felt like I wasn't supposed to be here, that was going to happen a long time ago. But I'm not going to quit. I'm not a quitter, man. That's one thing I do know about myself. So I'm not running. I'm going to be stronger. And whatever situation I have to do, I'm going to be honorable. Because my wife was honorable to me. You know, she kept it real. Regardless to anything, she kept it real. So I have to keep that as a gift. But as a father and as a friend and as a husband, I'm going to have to honor her. Come on, help me. I told you before we started this video, you know, I know sometimes um, the realist or the realism or the truth, it does not feel good. It does hurt, man. It's hurtful. The truth is hurtful. You know what I'm saying? But it's not because I'm trying to hurt anybody. For real. Taking accountability is hard. Yeah. Hey, man. Bill was a Bill was a wimp, but so he was he like a sweet, but he was he kept my boy gave up. But but when I was in there, he stopped crying, so I put his um pencil on him and he didn't he didn't really even cry anymore. Thank you, bro. Oh. Oh, Bill is a boy, so Bill is watching spirit. You can ask me for some more, sir. I'm going to go check on the rest of the kids.